What is up guys, Chase Oliver 68 here, bringing you TNA No Surrender Review 2011. If you guys wonder what's behind me, it's the Sunday Night Football game. Right now, the Jets just scored a touchdown, so I think they're coming back to try to beat the Dallas Cowboys. I doubt it. Cowboys are winning right now. Didn't see that coming, but all the TNA wrestling, TNA actually had a good show, maybe. Who knows? Do you guys think it was a good show? Did Bully Bray win the Battle for Glory series? Bet you everyone is wondering. Let's go and find out. First, we open up the card with Jesse Sorensen versus um, Kid Cash, number one contenders match for the exhibition championship. This feud has been kind of going back and forth on TNA as of late. We've had Kid Cash and Jesse Sorensen have matches with one another and both have a win over each other. Justin Sorensen ends up winning this match. Very good opener, got the crowd hyped up. And it was nice to see that TNA did care about their X Division, opening up the show with the feud that they were building on Impact Putting it on there overall, I thought that was good. Second off, we get the next, we get our first Bound for Glory series match of the evening, um, Bully Ray versus James Storm. Now this match wasn't really technically sound; it wasn't the best match technically. But the whole point of this match was to build Bully Ray's character into the point where you wanted him to see to lose tonight. James Storm, um, I believe he has a shoulder injury. I think he's working on it actually. Kudos to you, James Storm. But James Storm, every minute he tried to attack Bully Ray, Bully Ray would walk out and try to get the fans to hate the fact he's not fucking wrestling this and Bully Ray trying to stay fresh. You're like, what is Bully Ray doing? You know, this match wasn't the best technical sound-wise. This wasn't the best match overall on the card, but it did its job. It got Bully Ray hated even more by the end of the night, and we'll see how much of that hatred rolls on into the Battle of Glory Series Final. Um, next up, we got Knockouts Championship match. Winter versus Mickey James. For the knockouts title. Um, the match was good, but the ending, oh my god. So Winter spits her stupid miss in the eyes of Angelina Love, and then spits the miss in Mickey James again, and wins the knockout title. Now TNA, I wonder, why the fuck was the whole point of putting the title on Mickey James in the first place? I just don't see the point. If you had, you know, any sense, you would have just kept it on Winter and have Winter win this and no surrender instead of having that match on impact and have Mickey James win the title and then thus making your knockout title mean nothing because obviously you show you don't care because you'll trade it all back and forth every week it's kinda stupid in my opinion I, I'm fine with winter winning you know I said in Aces um, TNA bound for um, no surrender predictions that you know that winter winning would be okay for me because it will set up eventually Velvet Sky Maybe facing Winter for the TNA knockout title. I just don't understand why you put it back on Mickey James if she's end up going to lose tonight. That's uh. next up. We got the second Bound for Glory series matchup, and in this matchup for um, Robert Roode to tie for the Bound for Glory spot and Gunner, they need to um, get ten points. So which means they need to win by submission. Very good match by both of these men. Gunner and Robert Roode actually surprised me of how very well they work together. And Robert Roode ends up winning after using. Like this arm move, it it just didn't look. I wish he used a cross base to be honest, but you know whatever. He he hit, he does a submission move like this. I can't know the name. I'm not genius on everything, but he does this and basically Robert Rude um, wins the match and that that's pretty much it. So fans are behind Robert Rude because before there was a promo of James Storm saying, "This is for you, Robbie, Bobby." Bobby, Bobby, like the fans are all cheering Bobby Roode, and you know, they're all behind Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode's getting good, you know, pop from the crowd, and then later on, Bobby Roode wins a match, and then he expects maybe, oh, maybe on Impact, I'll face um, G Bully Ray, but it turns out, no, 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 Eric Bischoff says, you're facing Bully Ray here tonight, unscheduled, un unannounced, it makes sense to me, why, why wait till Impact when we can get this match now, done and over with, now, next up, we had the TNA Tag Team title match between the team of Pope Devon, yeah, that was a team name, which is Pope D'Angelo De Niro and bro, uh, formerly known as Brother Devon, just Devon now, versus the Mexican America, and that and that's the team of Anarchia and Hernandez. Very good tag match. Um, surprisingly, I didn't think I thought Pope and Devon couldn't coexist, but they're coexisting very well. I thought something would end where they would end up leading to a feud and bound for glory, and you know. It, it just didn't seem like it, and that was a good tag match until the ending. The ending was kind of meh, but besides that, you know, the match was overall pretty solid. You know, each tag team hit their spots. Mexican America won, right people won. Can't complain here. I just wish the ending was not so utterly stupid. And what's with TNA when they have someone on the outside, they have to interfere every 10 minutes? 
I'm just saying it's kind of stupid. Um, next up, we had TNA X Division Championship match: Double A Double A Austin Aries versus the Brian Kendrick, the X Division Champion. Very good match. Um, in my opinion, one of the matches of the night, the second match of the nights after this. Uh, very good match by both of these men. You know, having all this go on with these th these two athletes putting on the slow pace, putting on the the submission moves and going to the outside looked like Austin Aries when it went, looked like Kendrick when it went and Austin Aries winning exhibition champion and now hopefully we get Jesse Shortson versus Austin Aries for that TNA exhibition title I, I, I can't wait for that if it's at Bound for Glory that sounds good to me if they build this up right if not we'll get Kendrick and Aries again and that's fine you know good matches overall so far and then we get on to my my personal match of the night. Many probably thought the Exhibition title, but it's my personal. That's why I said co-matches of the night. We have Robert Roode, otherwise known as Bobby Roode now. I like Robert, but whatever. Bobby Roode versus Bully Ray in the Battle of Series Final. Um, boy, what a story. You know, Bobby Roode becoming a star today, pretty much. The crowd was very behind him, how they... Build us up, making the crowd behind Bobby Roode, and then in the end, you had Bully Ray. Basically, you know, in the beginning, Bully Ray was just doing what he did with James Storm. He and the crowd even more hating on Bully Ray, saying if Bully Ray wins, we're pretty much going to be pissed. We want Bobby Roode, and Bobby Roode, the crowd was buried behind him. This was great. TNA build up a new guy. We bitch and moan about TNA not building up the new talent. We got one, and Bobby Roode won the Bound for Glory series match. match. Very good match by both men. Bound for Glory, God. Very good match, in my opinion. Bobby Roode going to the Bound for Glory main event. That's good. It seems that I forgot a match on here. My bad, guys. Samoa Joe versus Matt Morgan. All right, okay match. Uh, Matt Morgan wins. Makes sense. He's coming back, and they want to build up this some angry Joe some more. You know, they want to build up angry Joe in the near future when the time's right. So, fine with me. Maybe Matt Morgan and Samoa Joe will have a monstrous ball match. Who knows at the pay-per-view. Then we get on to the triple threat. Main event match for the TNA World title. Mr. Anderson, Kurt Angle, and Sting for the World Championship. Kurt Angle is the champion, of course. Um, this match went a little bit short. The time was kind of running down. But the Battle for Glory Series match made up for it. Uh, okay, TNA World title match. And Kurt Angle ends up winning. But this is the way he wins. Mr. Anderson, you know, on the outside just chilling. And Hulk Hogan comes out, attacks Sting. Hulk Hogan helps Angle wins the title. And this is setting up Hogan versus Sting for Battle for Glory. That not only is it helping set, setting up for this match, but it's hoping Kurt Angle get more heat in time for Bobby Roode and making Bobby Roode a bigger star. Overall, I like the show. You know, the matches I thought were pretty good. Most of them, you know, the right storyline senses, except for the TNA Knockouts title match and the Battle for Glory, um, and not the Battle for Glory, the tag team title match. Had a weird ending to it, but besides that, this show was overall good to me. I give it a solid B plus. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, subscribe up above for more content from me. Comment down below your below your thoughts on TNA No Surrender. Um, follow me on Twitter. Add me on Skype. Chase Oliver 68 is all of them. And pretty much that's peace. Enjoy your Sunday night football. Enjoy your 9/11. And also thank you very much TNA for having Sarita do that tribute to her dad, talking about her um, father who was a victim of 9-11, sadly. Um, I thought that was a nice touch, and that was great. Overall, peace, everybody.